Hey everybody, how's it going? Jesse Nyberg, Visual Design here. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you for coming back and I really appreciate the support. And if you're new here, I hope you learn a thing or two. And if it helped you at all, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. So today I'm gonna be creating a typographic sticker in Adobe Illustrator and show you like a super easy and simple way to create it with just some good fonts and some nice typography. And if you really enjoy this video, Check out the Patreon below. Um, I post all the project files uh, for my higher class ones. I do one-on-one -on -one design feedback, help create like a better community in there and give you a little more resources. And then I also have a Discord in the description where we share with other designers and creatives, feedback, social media stuff, music, all that. With that being said, let's get into Illustrator and start working. So the most important thing with this process is just gonna be basically having good font choices and just uh, being able to make the typography look good as well as a nice color palette. So I got like a little phrase from uh, just in my uh, friend's Instagram group chat and that was uh, life's a gamble. So I'm just gonna use that for the words. Let's just grab Myriad for now. And then it was like this, life's a gamble. This might need to be uppercase. I'm not sure we'll figure, be able to figure all that out later. And from there, what I'm gonna wanna do is start seeing which fonts I wanna use. And I had a couple in mind. So I'm gonna kinda lay them out first. And that's always a good process. So right here, and then I will do an Alt, click and drag over or Option for Mac. And that way you still have the last one there and we can continue to look through stuff. And if you need help uh, or you want to check out one of these fonts I end up using yourself, I'll throw uh, that in the description as well as on the Patreon. All right, let's look through. I like stuff to have for this technique to have very like solid letter forms. It works a lot better. That's why that muscle one is one of the contenders for now. This gimbo font, I just, uh, got is really badass and it has a cool like soft shadow um, mode but that's a paid font so I don't really want to use that for the sake of the video there's this one called like Euro style that I really like yeah Euro style extended black something like that may work let's get one more option and see what we're working with something a little different this one is like pretty dope we might try a mighty slab and so what I like to do from here is see how things look basically uh, with different um, all caps all lowercase whatever it may be this is our uppercase and lowercase blend I'm gonna highlight all these create a copy that will be our uppercase and up here I'm gonna do all lowercase All caps for these are like a little aggressive. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I do like it a little bit for muscle, this font right here. Kinda like the mixture here though. I might wanna, that's what I'm leaning towards so far. I'm gonna grab this one and mess with some of it and see if it's a fit. So here I just wanna mess with some of the letting and get everything kinda where I want it to be. Okay, so from here, I wanna just get a quick and easy like color palette. So I'm gonna go over to coolers. I'll put that link in the description. And from here you can just uh, explore some of the popular ones, search by color. It's very cool. Yeah, honestly, I wanna do something like this. So let's get those saved. Just create some squares. Shift um, from the rectangle tool, drag to create the square. You just click this to basically copy the hex code and then you can just apply it in here. Oops. Click into here, control V or paste. All right, once we have our colors in, let's grab this and go over to the artboard. And what I'm gonna do is resize this some. So 
something like that. Have a little more space to see. Okay, and I want to make a copy of this. Command C, Command F, and then actually lock it down. Okay, then we're gonna grab the other one, and we're gonna go to Stroke, so you can go Window, Stroke, and put it to about 20. Let's do 25. And then we're gonna do a round cap, round join, align stroke to outside. Okay. And then from there, What we're gonna do is grab all this, object, expand, and then object, ungroup, object, yeah. Grab this, lock it, and then grab this yellow, select, same, fill color, and then send it to the back. Okay, so that's kind of our background shape. And then now we have that one that we locked and we're gonna unlock it. And then what I wanna do is fill in that black. So you can just grab your pen tool or the blob brush tool and grab the black and just kind of help some of this and make sure this is all connected like that. It's gonna have those weird spaces. Okay, now let's grab our, our letters. Just go into the command Y and grab those. Grab that, what's going on? Okay. I did this the hard way. What you could have done is just kept it copied in your clipboard and then pasted it on top after. I'm doing this since I didn't explain it that way. So just grab each piece and then I would, we should group them up. Command G and then bring to front. And from there we can mess with the colors. Whoa. Kind of like the yellow for the type and we can change this background. Let's grab all that. What do we want? I think this green could work. I kind of like that. Let's group all that up. That's pretty much it. So that's like a really easy way to just create some sticker type logos and just little graphics for in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to um, do a little bit more, what you can do is take this over into Photoshop, grab, uh, add some noise to it, um, add a little bit of outer glow and stuff if you're using it just digitally. And one thing I also like to do is sometimes for uh, things like this, I'll add some little sparkles and things like just on the edge just to give it like a cool little flare. But other than that, that's that. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if it's pretty easy, little short video this time, just wanted to give you guys a little tip. If you want to see more stuff like this, or if you're interested in any of my other videos, let me know in the comments. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And until next time, thank you.